Hey guys, Brendan, by the way, that audio guy. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your music more human esque, even though you're only stuck with virtual instruments. So, here we have a By the Way May track. We didn't have access to a keyboard at the time of recording, so we programmed in these notes individually. And if you know by when you draw these notes, they kind of snap to a grid, right? So we've opened up our instruments here. We've got two drum sets that have different sounds and then shakers and a kind of rain stick type thing. So how do you do that? Well, all you do is you select all, okay? Go to functions, MIDI transform, humanize, okay? Now, if you didn't select all, you can do select and operate and it will kind of select all of these, okay? And what I like to do is I just like to click. I just like to click, 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 and then I kind of get a really random uh, vibe going on there, okay? Um, you can even make it more random here, but I like their percentage that they've chosen, so I just kind of like click it over and over, and it, it usually gives me a really good result. So what does that sound like? Well, here's our before result. Okay, now here's after. Right. So for this song, that worked really well because we wanted it to, you know, kind of be a little bit random and not necessarily on anything. This is also really good to use for when you have lots and lots of toms, like if you're using a damage kit and you just kind of layer and layer so they're not all hitting on the downbeat. And that's what gets you that big drum sound. Check out the other videos to learn more tips. Thanks for sticking around, guys. See you soon.